today a look at using Chrome browser, 64-bit version on Windows 10, a fresh copy of Windows 10 64-bit. Now, VMware vSphere administrators will find it very easy to have icons that look like Windows applications rather than Chrome browser. And I'll explain as we get into this. So we've got to get started with getting Chrome browser installed. So how about I just Bing download Chrome. The very first thing is an ad. So I'm using Edge Explorer, which comes with every copy of Windows 10 to get the download Chrome stub going. Okay, at this point we're done with Edge. And as we wait for this to happen, I'll mention you may already have another Chrome account. What we're gonna do is create a new account that's dedicated to VMware vSphere administration only. That way any plugins or extensions you have will not be in the way, in any way. There's an advantage, many advantages to doing it this way that you'll see. So I'm gonna maximize the Chrome window. It'll help uh, and it should remember that when we relaunch Chrome. Um, another thing that's interesting about Windows is remembering Windows positions. So watch this. Start Chrome a second time, it remembers that. How about we maximize it? It remembers that, there we go. Okay, next, set it as default. It'll cooperate better uh, as far as password saving and some other attributes. Okay, so you can see Edge Browser tried valiantly to not have me do that, but I did it anyway. Now Chrome browsers are default, and we no longer have a whining screen there. Click the little human in the upper right. All right, so here you're likely going to want to sign into your existing Chrome account to get all your tabs and add-ins and all for this fresh copy of Windows 10. Fine, but that's not the focus of this video. The focus of this video will be a new account. So we're going to click the little human and click on Manage People and click on Add Person. Let's call it vSphere. Let's make it sort of the VMware color green and leave everything else alone and hit save. Okay, vSphere shows in the upper right and we get little icons showing which user's which. All right. Now you may want to do something like pin this to taskbar. That's a whole lot handier. And I'm not really big on desktop clutter, but I'll leave those because I know some people like desktop icons. Okay, so now we have two icons the regular user of Chrome, and if we sign in, you'll see your face there, or this green head, this VMware vSphere administrator version of Chrome. Cool. It's time to log into the ESXi host client. So, you're gonna get some warnings there. So the host client is what you have if you just point your browser to the IP address to your ESXi server. Okay, sometimes we see an issue. All right, we're in. The bookmarking process, right? So, and uh, pop-ups. So before I forget, not secure yet. That's a warning we're gonna get with the host. Let's always allow pop-ups. Okay, so that's now been fixed as far as pop-ups. I can hit reload if I want right there. All right. The other piece here would be click the menu icon, bookmarks, show bookmarks bar. So we're gonna start building some bookmarks and we're gonna do something special with them to make them look like Windows apps. So now we've got the ESXi host client logged in. We drag it onto the bar there. Now it's time to move next to usefully qualified names. We wanna get rid of certificate warning stuff. I'll show you that next. All right, so this is the launch screen for getting into the different pieces of vSphere administration, right? Uh, there's a fix for this warning of the certificates. So I'm gonna take care of that now. This is by far the easiest site to do it because a single download lets it happen, whether we're joined to a domain or not. That's what the code looks like. So let's try that again, I didn't. Go to that site, right click, save link as. 
open up this VBS, fully qualified name, and now it's going to run a script and you can see it briefly flash some stuff on the screen. It's done. Now we still have this here, even if I hit control F5 or force network reload, doesn't matter, we're still going to error. So now we can close that. Make sure all copies of Chrome are really done here. And now let's see if we can get back in without any nasty warnings. Would have been put, smart to put that in the clipboard, but there you go, it's now secure. Okay. So working from left to right, we want to be logged into both. So that's the first thing we're logged in as. Okay, the next thing is here. Uh, we even got rid of certificate uh, warning, but we did not get rid of pop-up blocking. So let's turn on allow pop-ups. All right, now we're well on our way to the next icon creation. But we probably are gonna to wanna to right click, open a new tab, and right click, open a new tab for these two icons. Drag from here to the bookmarks. Welcome to VMware vSphere. Did not give it a very pretty icon. Oh well. Next, logging in. Once you're authenticated here, without fat fingering the password, well, you get prompted to save the password, so that's cool. And it warns me, save all your passwords, you're gonna have to uh, sign into Chrome. So that's if you wanna share this with all the other machines. I didn't click anything and the prompt just went away. All right, we're good there. Now in this screen, watch what happens. Let's, let's close that. Right click, open a new tab. Because we're already authenticated, single sign in should just kick in and we're in. All right, so we have um, all those logged in. Now this bookmark, welcome to VMware, not really awesome. Um, but VAMI, a little more awesome. So let's get a copy of VAMI in there too. Save the password for VAMI. Horrible idea if you're in production. This is more like a shared kiosk or an educational classroom situation where it can be pretty handy to save this stuff. Okay, so we've got host client logging straight into a single server. Welcome to VMware, kind of a welcome page. VAMI, which we've now bookmarked. So working our way left to right. The issue here is that I didn't have .lab.local fully qualified. So that's gonna hose you. This probably had followed my own advice. You don't need the S, it's gonna redirect me. All right, now you get a password prompt as well. Still getting that nasty error. Either way, uh, we're in better shape in that uh, we don't have the security warning and we now did get prompted. All right, now I can drag this down. Excellent, so working our way left to right. Let's get that tab logged in there. Okay, fully qualified name, fully qualified name, fully qualified, and all pointing to VCSA at the root there. So everything's looking excellent now. We have all five icons ready to roll. Haven't finished bookmarking all of them, so let me finish doing that now. Beautiful. What's next? Shortcuts. Uh, Notice when you have this browser with a bunch of tabs going, you can't really see what's going on. Not exactly easy to toggle between these administrative interfaces. So let's do a lot better. Click here, more tools, add to desktop, turn on open as window, click okay, and repeat. OK, 
Okay, so now if we minimize this browser window, we have a bunch of icons on the desk. I would say welcome to view where it belongs on the left. So let's do that one first. All right, so now we have a bunch of icons to create taskbar shortcuts to. Right click, pin to taskbar, and repeat. Windows 10 default install has Cortana take up a lot of room. Let's say show Cortana icon. So now you click it and type. You don't need to take up all that space. So there you go. We've used the Cortana real estate for much more useful icons. So we're ready to close that Chrome. Here we are, the fresh start of Chrome. Let me convince you. Make sure Chrome is not running in the task manager list. It's not. Let's fire up each of these special new tabs. All right. So we want them to start large, maximized, and now it does. Looks like a Windows app. Moving along to the next one. Too small again. Log it in. Close it. Start it a second time, make sure it starts up big. Now if we have a remote desktop or higher resolution, it's gonna automatically fill the screen. Next one, maximize, click login, close it, make sure those settings are preserved, and so forth, continuing on. Takes longer, I don't need to wait for it, I can go to the next one. Maximize it. Close it. And start it again. Okay, so the beauty of this is it's really easy to see what you're doing. Hover your mouse over each, you get a pop-up previewing what it is and a label above it exactly what it is. So this replaces all my prior videos where you had to manually change the icons. I don't see any need for that anymore. This works great just the way it is. And the other big advantage is we no longer have these big fat things taking up visual real estate at the top. So you've got this bookmark bar, you've got a URL bar, you have stuff that's taking up visual real estate that isn't needed. So let's compare that with this. Look at the difference in visual real estate. All right, let me uh, make that even more clear. Windows plus F left arrow for that one. Windows plus right arrow for that one. Look how much higher and more stuff you can fit in on the right than on the left. So you've saved a lot of vertical space, wasted up here for a tab and air above the tab and all that. So that's it. That's how to create kind of the ultimate Chrome-based VMware vSphere administrative interface for all your web browsing needs. Here's the kicker. Remember we made an icon for your regular Chrome user with your plugins and maybe LastPass or whatever else you use? That's still there and no browser history. It's a fresh install, but as it has a browser history and bookmarks, it's got nothing to do with your VMware environment. It can be synced, it has plugins, ad blockers and all that, but your VMware environment is nice and crisp and clean with no add-ins that you don't choose, or add-ins you just choose just for the VMware vSphere environment. Extensions, excuse me. So there you have it. You've got your separate Chrome world for your personal browsing with as many tabs as you like. And that all stays over here. And then you've got all your other VMware vSphere administrator interfaces ready for you one click away, including things like Alt, tab between them. Web client for today's world and the future world HTML5 client. So I think you will enjoy having this in your own environment. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and thanks for visiting tinkertry.com.